Hello friends. In this video today we will discuss how to get 32GB RAM RDP VPS hosting without credit card absolutely free. Today we will cover this topic step by step in this video. Okay? So let's start. So first you can see some demo. This is my RDP machine where I have done the internet speed test. Let's do it again and show it to you. Okay? And we will open the right tab. So the IP address detected here is showing United States. Okay? And when we go to speed test, let's see how much speed it is showing. So look here 728 download speed is showing here. Okay? So how will this RDP be found? Let's cover this topic step by step in this video. So once see how to connect to RDP. Okay? So you have to open RDP. Type RDP. So here you have to click on remote desktop connection. So look here a URL is given. So paste it here. Then click on the connect button. So it is connecting now. Click on the yes button. RDP is connected. Give the username. Root password which we had selected. Click on the OK button. So look here RDP has opened. OK? So how to get it? We will see it now. So open any browser. Then in the URL search bar we will type deep note and press enter. Click on the link dpot.com. And you will get this link in the description box. dpot.com OK? Click on the get started button on the right top corner. So, from here we will sign up first. OK? We will sign up with continue with Google only. So, click on the continue with Google button. You will get such an interface. So look here on the left side bar a machine is visible. The machine which is started here. So let's stop it once. The machine has stopped. Now we will start the machine once. Start it by clicking on the start machine button. Click on the three dot icon. Here you will find a drop down for auto shutdown. Select after 24 hours. So your machine will become inactive after 24 hours. Okay? So here on the terminal then write a plus icon is visible. Click on this plus icon. So a terminal will open here. Okay? So look here a terminal has opened. Okay? Then first we have to run the comment sudo apt update. Okay? So here we will just type apt update. Then press enter. The update is done. Next whatever comment we run, you will get all these comments. So next we will run the comment apt install new phase, copy it. Go to the terminal and paste it. Then press enter. You have to type cap swipe. Then press enter. Okay it's done. Next command for us is new phase, do it once. From here you can see the machine details. Clear the screen. So press Ctrl L, then paste it. New phase, then press enter. So see, machine details are also showing here. Look at OS here, Debian is visible. Okay, kernel 6.1, okay. Then look at CPU here, AMD. Look at memory, 32 gigabytes memory is also showing here. Okay, okay, what will happen to our next command? This yesterday's command, we will copy this command. This command will also be found in the description box. Right click, paste it. Then press enter. So, select an option here. So, the first option is XLDE and XRDP, so press 1. Then press enter. Download and installation completed. Select RDP port. So, our RDP port is 3389. So, here I've already mentioned 3389. So, type 3389 then press enter. So, RDP created and started on port 3389. Okay, then we have to open another website. Open a new tab. Here we will type pi in yo then press enter. Okay, then configure your tunnel here. So, here you will find click on advanced settings. Then select TCP then here the settings will be local port 3389, 3389 and then we will set regional as Asia. Okay? 
Then, then copy the ssh command here. Then go to terminal. Right click and paste it. Then press enter. So look here we have got a URL. We will copy it. We will copy and save it in notepad. We will paste it. Okay, what will we do now? Go to RDP. From where will we give this URL? Give it from here. RN will copy from here, to the port, then open RDP. Click on RDP, then remote desktop and copy it here. Then click on the connect button. Then click on the yes button. So look, here we have to give the username and password. Here we will give the username root. And look, here we have to give the password. So we have to select the password. Okay, so again we will come to the dashboard. Next to the terminal, here we will click on the plus icon. A new terminal will open. Okay, a new terminal has opened. Here we will type apt install sudo. Okay. We will copy it and go to the new terminal and paste it. Then press enter. Done. Now we have to change the password. Type sudo password. Okay, sudo pass wd. Okay, wd then press enter. Okay, now we will set a new password. So let's enter the password. Okay, it's done here. We have entered the password. Now we will go to RDB again and enter the password that we had set there. Then click on the OK button. Let's close no session. Let's enter OK.